Hi everybody, I'm Steve Levin and this is my special assistant Shane Levin and we're going to color pictures of Jupiter today. If you want to color along, you can find links to the pictures in the description, description <laughs> underneath the video down below. Okay, so there's a picture of Jupiter that we got. And that's Jupiter, the way it looks, kind of the way it looks, as you see it from the Earth. And it's got the great red spot right there in the middle, so I'm going to color that in first and color it red. What is the great red spot? The great red spot is a storm, and it's a storm bigger than the whole Earth. In fact, I'm going to get a blue. Here's a blue. Is that a better blue? Here's a blue. And I'm going to color the Earth right here. Even though the Earth is really super far away from Jupiter, I'm coloring it right there as if it was right next to it, and I'm just making a blue dot to remind us just how big the Great Red Spot is. And that storm didn't always look like this either, you know? What did it used to look like? So it used to be quite a bit rounder than that, or quite a bit elongated than this, not this round. So it used to be stretched out and wider. It used to be as wide as almost three times as wide as the Earth, maybe even wider if you look far enough back. We've known about it for hundreds of years, but of course the pictures are better now than they used to be. And Juno's taking great pictures. I'm the project scientist for Juno. It's a spacecraft orbiting Jupiter. Jupiter's my favorite planet, and not just because of the spacecraft, but Why also because it's super big. So there's my Jupiter coming along. Jupiter is so big you could fit more than a thousand Earths inside it. And because it's so big, it tells us a lot about the whole solar system and how the planets formed and all that stuff by learning more about Jupiter. But we had to send our spacecraft to get close to Jupiter because from the Earth, all you see is these clouds up in the top of the atmosphere, these belts and zones or jet streams, clouds moving in both directions and everything. And the, we can see the great red spot shrinking or at least getting not quite so wide. Um, but we didn't know very much about what the north and south poles of Jupiter looked like. Juno got there and now we have pictures of the North and South Poles. So this is the South Pole and I'm gonna start by coloring it in with a whole lot of blue. Find a better blue. There we go with a whole lot of blue because the, the poles of Jupiter turn out to be a lot bluer than the rest of the planet. Do you know why? Not really. It's probably chemistry, different chemicals or different colors and all and the, we're seeing Jupiter's atmosphere still when you look at it with your eyes or with a camera that, that shows visible light. You're just seeing what chemicals are in the atmosphere, that's what makes the color. But we don't really know yet exactly which colors make all the, or which chemicals make all the colors. And I exaggerated, it's not really quite this blue, but it's more fun that way. Anyhow, my colors are gonna be closer than yours because you yeah. like to follow the rules <laughs> even less than I do. Yeah, I like my Jupiter to be a little bit rainbow, I think. Well, that's cool. Rainbows are fun. Yeah. And I'm going to color the circumpolar cyclones. I'm making them purple. They are totally not purple, but I'm doing that anyway. Circumpolar cyclones. Storms. Storms as big as the whole U.S. Center. There's one in the center at the South Pole, and then there's five around it in a ring. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the North Pole of Jupiter, the pictures we have there show one in the center at the North Pole, but there's eight of them around it, circled around it. And these here, the five that we're looking at, <clears throat> our spacecraft's been at Jupiter for almost four years now, and they've been pretty much in the same pattern the whole time. We come by every 53 days, so we get a picture, a good picture, every 53 days, and then we spend a long time with the spacecraft far away from Jupiter, and then we do it again. And only one of those pictures showed anything different. It showed a sixth one that had kind of forced its way in, and then the next picture it was pretty much gone. So that's really cool. <clears throat> The, um, we don't really know exactly why they're so stable. Why do the five cyclones stay there? And why do they last so long? And why do the great red spot last so long? That's some, some of the things we're trying to learn about Jupiter with the spacecraft. But in the meantime, it makes a really good picture, even if you do color them purple when they shouldn't be purple. <laughs> I All right. Some blue. Oh, well, I'm the one who covered, colored them purple. Yours are closer. Oh, okay. So there's. There's Jupiter from the side, the way you see it from the Earth, and there's Jupiter from the South Pole, from below, the way you can see it from Juno. You want to show yours? Yeah, mine are a little less scientifically accurate. But more fun. Yeah. 
So thanks for coloring with us today. And I hope everybody goes to the webpage and does your own coloring too. Thanks. Bye.